the Sutherland Handicap is next in. This might be a new race. It's a one more two furlong race. Uh, Nord's a 100 handicap for three year olds and upwards. And the top one is Arctic Snowfall for Craig Allen, Ballesteros Senator for Steve Rand, Dame Zenyatta for Paul Rhodes, Hannah and Elder for Vinnie Gerard, Sign Me Up, Mark Jones, Stormy Willow, Craig Beckwith, American Pharaoh, and Ringamore Beach for Dan Hughes, Dante's Inferno, Joshua Sutherland, Mont Bleu, Daniel French, Amjad Landing, James Shea, Carol Sally, Steve Rand, Danish Smooth, D Slattery, Polly Black, Martin Leadham, Lipu Crest, Vinnie Gerard, Educated Man, D Slattery, Coniferous, Nick Driver, D Calori is Obi Wan, Sheer Moss, Alex Cherry, Treasure Damsel, Derek Hinton, Dove Cottage, Alex Cherry, and Halska Groom, Ryan Costello. So 22 then in this. And away they go. And see them racing through the first furlong or so see who's going to take it up it looks like it might be Mont Bleu on this near side Ballesteros Senator rider over on the far side is also to the fore and so too is Treasure Damsel for Derek Hinton one of two different colours in this race as well you see that often Del Calori is currently the back marker but it's Mont Bleu who's shot four, four lengths clear of the remainder some of these are caught quite wide on the track and they're going to struggle a little bit I think but Mont Bleu is in front from Carol Sally and Dandy's Inferno then comes Stormy Willow and Arctic Snowfall, Ringamore Beach is trying to get into it as well looking towards the back, Polly Black and Del Calori and Coniferous are the back through they take this turn then and you can sort of wipe out half the field I think towards the back there it's Mont Bleu who's in the lead from Ringamore Beach in second then comes Carol Sally and Dante's Inferno Amjad Landings after that one it's Mont Bleu in front and Ringamore Beach and then Dove Cottage and then Carol Sally's after that one then Amjad Landing and sign me up, Treasure Damsel is after that Mont Bleu though is still in the lead by a good couple of lengths and has got that inside berth. Dove Cottage is second, Ringamore Beach is next, then Carol Sally and sign me up, Amjad Landing, Treasure Damsel and Ballester Ross Senator, then Dante's Inferno and Dame Zenyatta's after that one but it's still Mont Bleu in the lead as they pass the four furlong mark then. Mont Bleu is in the lead by a couple of lengths with Ballester Ross Senator looks to be going well, sign me up is now bursting through, Amjad Landing is still there, one of the closest to us there coming through is Dante's Inferno but it's Mont Bleu in the lead from sign me up and Ballester Ross Senator, Amjad Landing is still throwing down a big challenge but Mont Bleu still in the lead as they race down towards the final two furlongs it's Mont Bleu in the lead from Ballesteros Senator and Dame Zenyat is now trying to get into it so is Dante's Inferno closest to us now is also coming along on that Halston Groom is making a forward move Dame Zenyat is just about to hit the front I think Mont Bleu though sticking his neck out also there is sign me up Ballesteros Senator still as well but it's still Mont Bleu from Ballesteros Senator and now Ballesteros Senator hits the front in the shadow of the post and pulls away and Ballesteros Senator takes that cosily from Stormy Willow and Hannah Nelda and then Amjad Landon and quite a few and they never got into that race at all and Mont Bleu stayed in the lead for a long way and eventually got ran out of it didn't even finish in the first four back lock for that one but Ballesteros Senator jockey having a quick look round towards the end took that quite cleverly Ballesteros Senator the winner then for Steve Rand Stormy Willow for Craig Beckwith was second, Hannah Elder for Vinnie Gerard was third, Amjad Landin for James Shea fourth, and Mont Bleu for Daniel French was fifth, Polly Black came absolutely nowhere to finish sixth, and looking at that as well, I want to suggest in there that the ones drawn wide haven't got much of a chance, but it looks like 16, 14 and 18, is that the draw or is that the horse number? I think it must be the draw, yes it is, because Steve Rand's horse was, will be top weight.